time I'm out of channel, welcome, welcome to the corner of the internet where you can get taught to make jewellery from a professional jeweller. Well, ex-professional because uh, I left, I married a Japanese lady, so now I'm out here living in Japan, raising a family. But I want to keep my skills alive, I want to keep it going, and I want to share what I learned over the previous 20 odd years making jewellery. I like to specialise in high-end, handmade, bespoke pieces, making things for very wealthy people, literally billionaires. If you can make something for a billionaire and that billionaire is impressed and happy with it and, uh, and happy to pay like tens of thousands of pounds for it, that's worth more than any qualification you can get in any college. Yeah, because you know, very wealthy people, they go to the most expensive hotels, they eat in the best restaurants, they drive brand new, best cars, Bentley, Aston Martin, whatever. Uh, they know about quality. So if you've got to hand make something, it's got to be done properly. Best quality stones, highest quality diamonds. The metal work is what I specialize in. It's got to be done correctly. It's got to be strong, it's got to be nice design, and polished beautifully. Um, I can do it all. So I'm sharing what I learned over the years in this channel. I want to, I want to continue my, um, I want to keep my foot in the jewelry trade somehow and I'm doing it from Japan with this channel. And this channel, people who enable me to keep this going are the patrons and members. By the way, I've got a bunch of new members this past month, so thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate you contributing by becoming the YouTube members. But we've got some new patrons as well. We've got Eric Brooksby, Lauren R, Katie Wiggs and Patricia LeBlanc. Thank you very much guys, really appreciate you. If you want to help me out yourself, there's links in the description to do so. If not, just click like, subscribe and um, yeah, very grateful for that. But well, today is a quick video, but you're gonna need some eye protection because we are gonna anneal some platinum. So I've got this commission I'm about to start. I've got this three mil square length of platinum wire. It needs to be annealed, so I'm about to start milling it. Um, I need to anneal it first. So platinum, I wanna do a video on it because the temperature is so much higher. Normally in my videos, I'm working in silver, just showing how to make things, put things together and that. But platinum's, a little bit different to work in. The soldering is really, really nice, really good, except for when you're using 1700 solder. It's so bright you need eye protection because it's almost glowing white hot, it pretty much is white hot, uh, which is pretty much the temperature I'm gonna be getting it to now. So forget about butane torches, they'll never get hot enough. You need oxypropane. You could do it with acetylene, but it's such a dirty, horrible gas, you don't really want to be using acetylene, especially indoors at home. Maybe in a big warehouse you can get away with it, but um, you just get loads of black bits coming off the gas, it's horrible. So anyway, oxypropane is the best setup for jewellery. Flames everywhere, got air conditioning blowing on me. Uh, you need quite a big flame. So it's going to be hissing quite loud. I don't anneal it this way, I anneal it this way, and then the heat's going along the, along the metal. You're not wasting any of the flame. I move up and down it. I'm looking for it to go kind of white, so it's getting there already. Done. It's fast, but only if you've got a really powerful flame. You've obviously reduce the flame. You can get the flame just as hot, but smaller. But it's going to be more work going up and down it. You have to sort of go, just get it past cherry red. It goes red, then it starts to go white, like really bright. That's why you need eye protection. Because it's just going to do your eyes in. You literally won't be able to see what you're doing. It's so bright. You've got to move along it. And you just get that sort of cherry red, past red, up to white. And then just move that white along it. So I just go up and down it, getting it nice and white. But that's slow, even that technique. So I like to do kind of overly big powerful flame and you just get the whole thing done really quickly and then what I'll do because that, that's so hot yeah I'll put it on my metal block and then that cools it down quickly but it doesn't massively reduce the temperature all of a sudden I don't like shocking the metal too much and I think you get more benefit from your work annealing if you let metal cool down slowly platinum especially is really noticeable so I don't just grab that and dunk it in the acid but I am aware when you're in a rush Sometimes you try to do something so quickly, you can speed up the whole process of annealing and milling uh, by dunking metal in the metal, but I don't advise it. But at the same time, really I'll push for time, I will do it. But I always, I will always take it off my charcoal block and then put it on my metal block. Sometimes put my tweezers on top of it, just trying to draw the heat out of it a little bit. And then I'll go and it will hiss when I chuck it in the acid. I won't even chuck it in, I'll dip it in slowly. So just give it a head start cooling down. But platinum does seem to cool down quite quickly. So it's not, there you go, I can hold on to it already. That was white hot just like minutes ago. So platinum's a nice metal to work in. Stays nice and white, doesn't tarnish. Uh, soldering is really, 
Soldering is good because the solder seems to easily go where you want it to. Silver is actually, I find, more tricky to solder because the silver solder is more likely to go across a surface or not in the join. Uh, platinum's a nice clean metal, doesn't oxidize, so you don't have to go mad with the flux. Uh, solder behaves itself really well. The only thing is the temperatures are higher, so uh, that might make it a bit more difficult, but once you get used to the higher temperatures and the different type of flame you need for soldering, platinum's really nice metal to work in. So I can continue with that. So you saw how fast I did it. Go, I, would, I would recommend go with a slightly overly powerful flame. To such a high melting temperature, you can get away with it without risking too much of it melting, but it's possible to melt platinum in with these torches do it quite often uh but yeah you can you can push quite hard with platinum and annealing so there you go that was the video just wanted to show and highlight how i anneal platinum you can work even though the temperature is really high just go with a big flame you can still work really quickly you can just heat it up really quickly it seems to cool down quickly anyway just naturally um yeah platinum <laughs> get some do it <laughs>